Although we will have a separate session of Java and Wave for the string, but for now let's have a look on the string data type in very 11 style. Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Wave, Variables, Data Types and Operators. These are the various data types supported by the Java and we are learning a string data type which is a non-primitive data type. A string is a reference data type, it's not primitive data type. A sequence of characters within a double quote is called a string. We are writing a sequence of characters Java M% wave in between the opening and closing double quotes. And this one is the string literal. The string literal Java and wave in between the opening and closing double quotes is getting assigned in the variable of type string whose name is small s. Remember that if you are using the string word as a string data type then you must have to write capital S here. If you write here small s then the string word will not be a data type. Here we are assigning the string literal Java M% wave in between the opening and closing double quote and we are assigning this string literal in the variable of type string whose name is small s and then we are printing the variable small s. Printing the variable s prints java and wave. Let's execute this program. My program is stored in the file name new string one dot java and here we are storing the string literal named java and wave to the variable of type string and then we are printing that variable. Save and compile it. Java C new string one dot java. Compiles fine and then run it. Java new string since class name was new string and it runs fine. It is printing Java and wave. Let's see how this program executes on the computer. A stack section gets created in the memory with the start of JVM. Inside the stack section, a memory area for the method main is created called the stack frame of the main. Inside the stack frame of main, memory location for the variable ARGS is created. We will see more about this variable ARGS in the later session of the Java and Wave. Now we have to assign the string literal Java and Wave to the string variable S. We know that the string is non-primitive, means the string is reference data type. So the variable S is non-primitive, means S is the reference variable. A new memory area gets created called the string constant pool or in short SCP. Memory location for a string literal Java and Wave gets created in the SCP. Remember that for all the string literals used in the program, a memory area gets created in the SCP. This memory area have an address, say ADDR1. We are not going in the details of the memory address, just assume it as a ADDR1. The memory address ADDR1 gets stored in the memory location corresponding to the string variable S. Notice here that S itself is not containing the string literal Java and Wave, but the S is containing the address of memory where the actual string literal is stored. The variable which does not contain actual literal but contains the memory address of the actual literal is called a non-primitive, is called a reference variable. We can use these special characters in the string. We studied these special characters in the previous video. If you don't know how to use these special characters, the link is given in the video description below. Here we have placed the special character backslash b in the string literal. Backslash b is the special character for the backspace. This special character erases the ampersand and when we print the variable s, then it prints java wave instead of java and wave. Let me execute this program. Open new string one dot java and write here backslash b backslash b. Then after instead of printing java ampersand wave, it prints java wave. The character ampersand will get erased from the string since it is followed by backspace character. Save and execute it. Java C new string one dot Java. Compiles fine and then run it. Pass the class name to the JVM. It runs fine. But at this time it's printing Java wave instead of Java and wave. The ampersand character gets deleted by the following backspace character. Here we have inserted two new line characters in the string. So when we will print the string variable s, it will print Java in next line ampersand in next line wave. Let's update new string one dot Java and write the string like that. Right here, Java, new line character, and then insert here also new line character. Compile and execute it. Java C, new string one dot Java, and then execute it. Java, new string, it's printing Java in next line ampersand in next line wave. It's a space because there is a space between new line and ampersand, if you see here. There is a space between the new line and ampersand. That's why a space before wave is getting printed. This one. We can use Unicode and octal character literals in the string. 
here we are inserting the sanskrit character om as a unicode character in between the string so finally if we print the variable s it will print java om web let's update our file new string one dot java and write here slash u 0950 and then save and execute it compile fine then run it it prints java om web that's all for this video guys don't forget to like and share this video subscribe this channel if you are new leave your valuable comments in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next video